Hey, who's there? Hey. <laughs> Chloe, your hair. When did you... Was this for the play? I heard you performed last night. Nope. I mean, I, I did, but this is, uh, is something different. None of that matters now. Oh, I am so glad to see you. Good to see you, Chloe. Coming home was a smart decision. Happy Mother's Day, Mom. Thank you, sweetheart. I... Uh, I didn't get you anything. Having you back home is present enough. I'm just here to pick up something. Then I... Uh, I have to go. Are you coming home tonight? Mom... I, I don't know. I wish you would tell me what you're up to. Don't worry about me, okay? I... I can take care of myself. Well, will you at least tell me where you're staying? I really gotta go. Listen, wait. Before you go, David has something to say to you. It won't take but a minute. Mom. I don't think this is the best idea. You already promised. <sighs> Chloe, I've made an agreement with your mother to trust you from now on. <laughs> really? What does that mean? It means that from today forward, I'm going to take you at your word. So if you say you haven't been smoking or drinking, then I'll just leave you be. Even though she had pot yesterday. David, the idea is you should feel comfortable here, Chloe. David's not going to question you, and neither am I. Well, this sounds like it's doomed to fail, but hey, kudos for trying. Chloe. What? I really meant it. Good job. Can we be done now? Wait, one second. Don't go, Chloe. I've been meaning to show you something. Maybe, maybe now's a good time. This is my friend Phil Becker. We served in the same unit, two tours. Becker was killed near the end of our deployment. Roadside IED. We used to joke about all the trouble we were gonna get into once we got back home. But he died. He died and I didn't. And I think about that fact every damn day. The point is, 
I've had my share of grief. I know what you're going through. So I guess what I'm saying is, I'm here to do what, whatever I can to help you get over the loss of your dad. Please, I'm begging you. Give David a chance, won't you? Here. Why don't you keep this photo for a little while? Uh, think about what I've said. David looks so young. And this Phil guy, they look close. Thank you, David. Oh, Chloe. Mom. I'm just so proud of you both. Mom, I really need to go. Be careful out there, Chloe. I love you, sweetheart. All right, all right. What the hell? Just gotta grab Dad's toolbox and then get out of here quick. Holy crap. This might actually be helpful for fixing up the truck. with me here. loose. How can I tighten it? Whew. 
<sighs> Much better. This thing is going to the fuck up. This thing seems pretty gunked up. I think I should move on to something else. The distributor cap looks pretty gross. I need something small to scrape the gunk off the cap. Nothing doing. Looks like someone tried to patch this thing up. Sometime before I was born. At this point, I think that ancient duct tape is better than anything I can do. Better leave it be. This connection is pretty shaky. I could fix this battery post if I could get a good enough grip on it. Not helping. Maybe... Sick! There. Fits like a deadly electric glove. Nope. Not gonna help. The distributor cap looks pretty gross. I need something small to scrape the gunk off the cap. That should help keep shit distributed. Well, fuck. back from whence you came. Spark plugs busted. Carbon deposits. Of course. Please, I need you.
Okay. Junkyard queen. Where are you at? Hey. Holy shit. Your hair. It's so... <laughs> Badass. <laughs> exactly. Hey. Not sure if you saw, but someone moved your truck. No way. You're practically a certified mechanic now. <laughs> Even have the shirt to prove it. Should we check it out? Hey, Price. Nice wheels. You're early, Frank. What's the occasion? It's his fucking bar mitzvah. Frank here's becoming a man. Aren't you, big guy? What's he doing here? What do you think? We're not dealing with a couple of dime bags anymore, Chloe. Where's the money? Seriously, Frank? If you think I would pocket a thousand bucks of your money, you're even dumber than you look. I don't think she has it. Oh? It's cute how she acts like you two are friends. You heard what happened to Drew, right? Maybe try keeping that in mind when you talk to me. Don't fucking touch her. Why is it? that chicks think it's okay to hit me. But if I lay a single finger on them, suddenly, it's a whole other thing. Frank says you were asking about a client of his. That true? Yeah, it's true. I don't see why you should give a shit. You don't. Maybe I'll show you. See, you two Nancy Drews decided it would be a good idea to call your drug dealer and ask about his business. I didn't go to a fancy academy, but that doesn't strike me as smart. Maybe it was this man's sunny disposition that confused you, but he's got a whole other side to him that I don't think you'd like. Should we let them see it? We're just talking here. <sighs> okay, then let's talk. I want to know, right now, why you give a shit about this woman. She's a friend. An old family friend. <laughs> this chick doesn't have any family. Or any friends. Look, none of this matters. All we care about is that you stop asking questions. Got it? No. Tell me where she is. Now, Rachel. Wait a minute. <laughs> no way. What the fuck is your pro Rachel? As in Rachel Amber? <laughs> that makes so much sense. This is James Amber's fucking kid. Damon, your dad's a real piece of shit, you know?
We're aware. Not sure what that has to do with us. Me neither. But I'd like to find out. Here's what happens next. Come on, man. They're just kids. No, they're not. This one is the fucking DA's daughter. And right now, she's going to fill me in on what her daddy is up to and how he's connected to that whore everyone's asking about. Damon, calm down. We're still talking. Everything's still cool. No need to get crazy. Oh! Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Fucking bitch! Rachel is going to be all right. The knife damaged her brachial artery, but didn't cut it. She's out of surgery, and now she's resting. Chloe, what happened? It's my fault. I should have listened to you. Sarah's mixed up somehow with this psycho Damon Merrick. I know exactly who Damon Merrick is. Start over and tell me everything. Did you and Rachel try to contact Sarah? I'm not going to chastise or blame you, Chloe but I need the whole story. So, I got my dealer to meet us, since he knows Sarah. Frank Bowers. Yeah, that's right. But Damon showed up with him. What did Merrick want?
He asked us why we were so interested in Sarah. And what did you say? No, nothing Of course. Is that how it became violent? When he found out Rachel was the DA's daughter, he, he wanted information about you. And how did he know that I'm her father? I, I, I called her Rachel. And he figured it out from there. It's not your fault. What happened next? Damon had a knife out. We all could see it, but then he said something that pissed Rachel off, and she just grabbed a piece of wood and hit him, and then he stabbed her. I keep thinking that maybe I could have done something, but when he attacked her, I just froze. It's not your fault. And Frank held him off so we could get to the truck. I heard a scream. But I don't know what happened. And then we were here. I appreciate you telling me the truth. What are you going to do about Damon? Find out if he is alive. First of all, my department's been after him for some time. I was told that if Rachel had arrived only a few minutes later, she might not have... Um... Thank you, Chloe. You saved my world. It will be some time before Rachel wakes up. I promise. I'll let you know when she does. Okay. Thanks. <laughs> hey. Steph, how's Drew? Pretty good. Miss Amber just told me Rachel's going to be okay. I'm really glad. Yeah. Well, our room's just down the hall. You should come by. Okay, sure. Definitely. I don't think I can sit still any longer. Might as well... Come on. <laughs> Not that I have any coins anyway. <laughs> oh man. Jackpot.
20 more of those. Sean Prescott. What's he writing to the hospital about? Is this for real? Is that Mikey and Drew's dad? All right, then. Thank you. Hi. Mr. North? That's me. And you are? I'm Chloe. You here to see Drew? Yeah. How are, uh, how are things going? Oh, you know how it is. Ups and downs. Drew's hurt, of course. But there's other things going well for us. Uh, I'm moving back into my, my old apartment in two and a half hours. I don't know if you know this, but uh, Mikey's been crashing at Drew's dorm. Oh? Uh, I had a bit of trouble with work. And it's all been pretty hard. Anyway, Drew managed to scrape together enough to get me back on my feet. I'm glad things are starting to work out then. Oh no. You said you were Chloe. Mikey's mentioned you a few times now. I have a question maybe you can answer. Sh sure. Both of those boys have been acting a little, well, Guilty, lately. Yeah, uh, I've, I've been spending most of my time looking for work. I'm worried I missed something important. Do you know if anything's going on with them? Uh, no. Sorry. This weekend was actually the first time I really hung out with them. That's all right. I appreciate that you've been keeping my boys company. Drew's got so many hopes for himself riding on their knee. It seems like he's been even more driven lately. I think my work situation's disappointed him. Both of them. Actually, in different ways. Uh, sorry I'm laying all this on you. I've been trying to keep it light in there. That's okay. Uh, nice of you to listen. Do me a favor. Don't worry either of them with... Oh, excuse me. Hey! You made it. Oh. Hey, Chloe. Hey, Drew. How's your knee doing? Do they think it's gonna heal? Uh... I'm not sure, actually. It's too early to tell. Sorry to hear it. It's... it's all good. Hmm. <laughs> Love the hair, by the way. Pretty cool. Thanks. <laughs> just, uh, trying it out. Sometimes you've just got to do something new. Hey, any news about Rachel? Her mom seemed hopeful. Rachel's stable. She'll probably wake up soon. How'd she get hurt? You'll think I'm joking when I tell you. But I'm not. What happened? She got stabbed in the arm by demon fucking Merrick. Seriously? It, it wasn't because of me, was it? No. Not at all. 
If anything, I should have thought about what happened to you before getting Rachel involved. That's crazy. Fuck that guy. I wish I could get my hands on him. Drew, chill out, okay? Uh, I'm headed out. Everything okay in here? Yep. Yeah. Don't have too much fun now. Try to keep it appropriate for the hospital. Bye, Dad. See you, Pops. Man. Maybe... I shouldn't have mentioned Damon. Rachel's gonna be up soon. Should probably head over when I'm ready. Damn. Drew looks... really low. Ooh, I wanna eat that. Right now. Those must be from Steph's parents. Drew's been in a lot of pain today. I think the football team needs... Yep. Definitely too many concussions. Look at that. Wells being nice for a change. I wonder if Drew will ever play again. That'll be an interesting read. Hey. Sorry for losing it there. It's nice of you to come by. Yeah, no problem. Easier than you coming to me. <laughs> you know what? I'm kind of tired. Oh, uh, right, right. I'll, um, I'll leave you alone. All right, I'm gonna head out. It was really great to see you, Chloe. Agreed. Don't be a stranger, okay? Yeah? Tell Rachel we're rooting for her. You bet. You get stabbed. You mean it's control everything that's fired. Hey. Chloe, I can't even express thank you so much. I'm sorry. I'm a wreck. I stepped out to get some air. Rachel doesn't need me crying in front of her. Your hair. I almost didn't notice it. Oh. Yeah. It's... It's not a big deal. I bet Rachel loves it. I can't imagine what I would do if we lost her. Me too. You've grown so close, haven't you? Yeah. It's weird to think we just met a few days ago. When you meet someone who changes everything, you just know. Well, hang in there, Mrs. Amber. I will. <laughs> 